What's going on everybody? I am Riku and welcome back to another video of the 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross. In today's video, I am going to be using my friend Uncle Wody's account to show off the newest festival, uh, Sabunak, uh, how do you say her name? Sabunak. Uh, her best in slot team, in my opinion, is herself, Hell, Vittoria and Nanashi. So, um, said all that, I think she's a very strong character and I have no idea how these matches are going to play out so let's try our best let's see what all this is about and let's hop right into it once the loading screen is done okay so for our first opponent we're going to have the sins team luckily we out cc so um I actually don't even know what her cards do like I do but I don't so just gonna do this. You the red Tamiya. No, it's Barn. And I think that I'm just gonna do that. 93k turn one, that's pretty cool. It's pretty good damage, respectable damage, if you ask me. I completely forgot she's double AoE, so. Sadly, she does have a skill effect blocked, however, everybody in this team is like a DPS, so we're fine. Uh, bad thing is, Bon is going to try kill one of us, so... Praying that he doesn't do much damage. And for the looks of it, he isn't going to do much damage, hopefully. We tank to that. He's a very tanky uh, character, I'm not going to lie. Being able to tank a barn, um, alt, not alt, um, pretty much an alt. Um, barn concentration attack, that's what I meant to say. Um, turn one, that's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. So, Vittoria is gonna do her stuff, Gother is dead, and the barn is also gonna die now, leaving only his Meliodas. Pretty respectable damage, overall. Okay, uh, we're gonna use a double AoE now. Never mind, we're not gonna use a double AoE. However, we are gonna get a level 3 Fittoria, meaning that he is most likely gonna die if we live, which we do. So, yeah. Pretty smooth sailing first match, if you ask me. Just gonna do that. Pretty smooth, if you ask me. Amazing first match. Okay, on to match two. Another variation of the Sins team, which we also out CC. It's huge that we are out CCing. Uh, especially uh, with today's meta, where out CCing is a cause of celebration. So, once again, we're going to go with a double AoE, um, do a little bit of damage to everybody, and then we're just going to carry on from there. Um, long story short, we are generating attacks for Vittoria. So, Sabnak is here as a sub DPS, DPS sort of unit as a tanky sub DPS. So if now they're going for sub neck, uh, I can now, for example, merge level two Fittoria and most likely wipe their team. They currently can't attack. So I think it's a, it's a reasonable, uh, it's a very good strategy if you ask me. So even if Eskinor had a level two or even, now we would have died to a level two. Uh, if he had a level two, I think we could have tanked it. However, I'm just going to show you guys this very quickly. Hear me out. Boom. And boom. And I think we completely wiped the entire team. So, and I, and I think that's a sick game too. Let's see. Entire team wiped. You have sub Nakel of Victoria. You go first. You win the game. You absolutely shred through the game. And that's all there is. All you have to do is have Subnack 
Victoria and Hell, and they are most likely going to uh, release a uh, um, a variation of Victoria because you know she's a collab unit, uh, a recent collab unit. However, I do think that they are going to release a better version of her, like they do uh, with most collabs. So, uh, <laughs> underwhelming damage because AOE uh, into you know just one unit doesn't really matter. However, we do get to see her winning screen. Very cute winning screen, if you ask me. Okay, so game three, another Sins-esque team. Just instead of Barn or Gotha, we have Elizabeth this time. I'm not the biggest fan of Elizabeth, however, I do respect the people who uh, do intend to uh, use Elizabeth. I'm just messing up this turn one right here. I am so sorry. Um, so having three stacks for Fitoria turn one is very good. 196 is also very good turn one. So I think she's a very respectable da uh, damage dealer. And that 139 was huge because we killed Eskinal. So I think we are in a very great spot to win this. Even with Barn, um, we are able to hopefully do one more AoE, um, assuming he does not kill us. Um, doesn't really oppose a threat to us, so if we're able to do one more AoE... Oh wait, no, I, I, would, I wouldn't be able to do one more AoE because Elizabeth heals. Uh, she has, what, two stacks, is it? I keep forgetting how it works with this Elizabeth. Um, she has a hidden stat that can't be seen. Great. <laughs> Let me just do this and pray for the best. Uh, Fitoria should be able to clear it all. Yep. What a great unit. What a great team. Unknowns are back at the top. They are back at the top. You have all three units. You win. Okay, fourth match, I think it is. Now we have a human team. Um, humans are a bit of an iffy situation because you don't really want to face humans. So let's just see what um, this team has in stock uh, against humans. Okay, um, we do take the, the, the evade. That's actually better for us even because I'm pretty sure Fitora stacks uh, regardless of evade yep they do so uh next turn if we get an aoe which we did we have two aoe's in fact we are able to kill uh i'm pretty sure we're able to kill the entire team however i'm not gonna i'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna jinx myself there because i do know that um now for me has a revive and arthur is very tanky so hopefully we are able to Deal massive amounts of damage. That's the only thing that I'm really hoping for. So as you can see, she has her stack. So let's just do this, this, and this. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Victoria. Okay, respectable damage. Um, there was a lot of damage mitigation coming from both Arthur and uh, Naofumi. So we aren't really going to give her that much uh, hard time. However, we do kill Eskinor. And I'm pretty sure now for me still has a revive, but he forfeited the match anyway. So, great overall. Really impressed with this team, not gonna lie. Okay, so next match we are facing against an Escanor that out CCs us. Oh lord. Uh, well, we most likely lose this. Uh, however, we do not lose anything in trying. Thank you very much for alt rushing. Um, buddy, uh, that was very helpful of you. Uh, who has time me a link? Uh, okay, Meliodas does. Boom, boom, and you know what? We're just gonna let it rip. We're just gonna play devil's advocate here because he does not get anything. He does not get his ult. If he attacks me, he most likely loses an ult gauge and a good majority of his characters don't have cards. So... I think at most he's going to be able to attack me with two cards. He's only able to attack me with two cards. I think 
I think we have this one in the bag. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, Subnak is tanking. Her, she's doing her duty of tanking, which is exactly what we needed. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do Fitoria. We're going to do uh, an AoE, and then we're going to use Hell's single target. And let's pray that we kill. Okay, Barn is dead. Hopefully. GG's. GG's. What an amazing, amazing, amazing team. However, Meliodas is alive, and he does have the old creation buff, so we most likely die here. So, I I'm not really gonna... Yeah. I got my goal, which was killing Escanor. So, not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy. I consider this a dub. I absolutely consider this one a dub. And now I'm just gonna stay here to annoy him. However, I'll skip to the next one. Okay, last one of the video, we out CC. So, let's just pray that the this person is not an evade fooder. And if they are, I hope you know that you are a not kind person. However, I think they're evade, uh, not evade, I think they are ultimate food. So, we're gonna have to be careful with that. So yeah, evasion. Great. I'm fine. I lost absolutely nothing. Uh, with you having evade. I hope you know. I just hope you know that I'd lost nothing by you having evade. You still have your cards out, and I have Victoria's AoE next turn. I am fine. I am golden. You are the one who screwed. So, let's just see what you are gonna do. Thorman 99 Okay, Escanor AoE. Okay. Meliodas AoE. And I think that's all of their cards, because they merged. Yep. GG's. That's all I'm gonna say, GG's. GG's. Victoria uses her ultimate. 365k. Now it's time for Subnet. Apply Delusion, 58k. Heck yeah. <laughs> what a great unit. Amazing at 1-6. This is 1-6, no cosmetics, by the way. So, don't let them tell you that free-to-play Subnet can't compete. She can definitely compete. However, 6-6 six, six is a whole other story. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know. 6-6 six, six Subnet is a completely different story, and I'm gonna try to get a winning screen. Um, however, I highly doubt that I can. So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, actually, maybe. Oh yeah, with 69k. 69k Subnet, amazing character. You must pull for her if you are a unknown team enjoyer. That's pretty much it for the video. Leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I will see you all in the next video. Adios.